Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So uh, the Prius uh, just uh, died. There's a check engine on right now. And I'm trying to uh, inspect uh, what's going on. It seems like there's a cooling uh, leak down there. Below this uh, hybrid uh, signature drive. And as you can see, the, there's a pulley right there. It's showing there's a leak as well. I'm not sure where it's coming from. It is uh, wet over there. Alright, so I'm not sure if the 12 volt battery is dying or something because uh, and when I press unlock on my door, it's making that weird noise. So hopefully just a 12 volt auxiliary battery is bad because now my uh, dashboard and everything it's completely dead and we're trying to press uh, start. It shows the brake light is on and then the check engine light is on. So yeah, let me uh, check on the 12 volt battery, auxiliary uh, battery and see. And then uh, park, it just keep on flashing uh, green. And these two LEDs on, so I'm not sure what's going on. So hopefully I can uh, jump it and see. And what's it doing? So yeah, this is my uh, auxiliary uh, battery, the 12 volt that's uh, near the trunk. So I'm, let me go get my uh, voltmeter and try to check the voltage. I'm pretty sure that this one is low, so let's go and then I get the meter and check. All right, I got my uh, voltmeter right here, and I got the negative on the negative pulse right now. I'm going to touch the positive. Wow. So it's only showing uh, 9.6 something voltage, which is uh, too low. So hopefully this is just a cause of the problem. So let me try to charge it or jump it and see what's happened then. All right, you two. So I just came back from uh, AutoZone. They charged my auxiliary uh, battery, but it only shows that uh, it only has a 38% charge. So I'm not sure if the, the battery is going bad or what's going on, but uh, when I press the power, Then the check engine and then the brake light is still on. There's no uh, ready. Uh, you're supposed to have a ready and then in the engine supposed to kick in but I don't have any other ready. Let's uh, try one more time. It's going to blink in and out. The ready is going to blink in and out and then uh, disappear.
Earlier, the hybrid battery shows uh, two bars, the blue bar, so not sure what's going on. So yeah, I, according, I used uh, my uh, OBD2 uh, scanner, and then it shows that it uh, has an uh, error code. It shows a uh, P0, A as in Apple, 094. And it has to do something with the DC, DC converter or something. Those are the high voltage. So I guess I'm not going to mess with that. Probably because of the cooling uh, that was uh, leaking. So hopefully it's not too big of a problem. So we'll see. So I got called the triple and then told her to the auto shop. Also, oh, this is the trunk. That is the 12 volt auxiliary uh, battery over there. But it's, uh, something is making the clicking noise under the hybrid battery. I'm going to press the power and then uh, try to turn it on. So when it's clicking like that, the radio uh, goes on and off on the dashboard. Weird. Now it's at a different, uh, it shows a different symptom now. And this one stays on amber, it doesn't turn green. So it's acting weird. So I guess the radio works and everything. Uh, so I'm not sure what's the problem. In order to go into a dinosaur mode, you have to press the power without stepping on the gas. And then I press uh, info and hold it down. And then on the light switch right here, the headlamp, you want to turn on, off, on, off, on, off three times in order to get into this uh, diagnosis uh, menu. Alright, so right here I'm at the lens uh, monitor EMV and this is where they show the code. Go back. So I cleared the call already. Call clear. Memory clear. See what else is in there. Click on recheck. Now it says uh, EMV okay. So let me try to see if I can start the car now. Uh, let me also go back to the menu. That was an uh, under uh, service check. I'm in the diagnose uh, menu.
All right, so hopefully that clears up and I can start the car. Check on service check again. Turn out the car completely. Open the door, close it. Nope. Well, I'm checking the 12 volt battery, you're gonna press your uh, power key, press info, and then uh, turn on your uh, light switch on and off three times, and you get this uh, menu screen, uh, diagnosis uh, menu, you're gonna click on uh, display, vehicle signal check, it shows 11.9 uh, volt for the new battery. Let me see if I hit the power on and we'll see what's gonna happen. Check engine light still on. Hi right, YouTube, so it turns out to be this uh, DC, DC DC converter is bad. And one of the block on my cell, one of the block on my hybrid battery is bad. So I need to uh, talk to a guy that is gonna specialize in the hybrid to change out the battery. I'll swap out the bad cells. Still in the well, let's go ahead into a guy that who's a repair. His name's uh, Josh at uh, his house. So hopefully he's gonna turn around and then a quick fix. He said he could be finished by today, so I'm not sure. So let's see. So lucky at the AAA uh, tow truck right here right now. We tow the car again. Uh, you too. So yeah, my uh, mechanic or the specialist uh, change out this uh, hybrid uh, synergy drive, which is a DC DC converter inverter. I guess the cooling is broken or something, so it uh, leaks. So if your cooling is leak, and make sure your cooling is full. And if you don't have a full cooling, so it's gonna overheat your. Uh, Hybrid uh, signature drive. So this is the culprit right here. Guess uh, there was crack and somehow it uh, leaks. So I'm not sure why it's got on this side. So he uh, replaced an, uh, another one, that's a used one. So let's kind of give you guys a look at uh, what's inside here. You can see the pink coolant still there. So unfortunately this one went bad and then uh, one of the battery cells went bad too on the hybrid battery. 
I watched a YouTube on how to change a hybrid battery, but you gotta balance it and everything like that. So, he gave me like a three months warranty on this and then a two month warranty on the hybrid battery pack that he replaced. So hopefully this is gonna last a while. If not, I gotta call him back. So yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video, please uh, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop in the comments on below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video, like always. Peace.